In this demo, we will look at the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. When you go to the supermarket or pharmacy to buy hydrogen peroxide, you probably notice that it comes in a brown bottle. Such compounds are sold in brown bottles because they are photosensitive. Hydrogen peroxide will decay spontaneously over time and the process is sped up by the absorbing of light. Hence, the brown bottle prevents light from reaching the hydrogen peroxide and thus slows the decomposition. Let us look at the chemical reaction that occurs when hydrogen peroxide decomposes. Hydrogen peroxide, as obtained in the supermarket or in the laboratory, is an aqueous solution. In the supermarket, you, one usually buys a 3% solution, meaning that 3% of the volume of hydrogen peroxide solution is hydrogen peroxide, and the remaining percentage is water. In the experiment today, we will be using 30% hydrogen peroxide, which means 30% of the solution is hydrogen peroxide, and the remaining 70% is water. Hydrogen peroxide decomposes to form water and oxygen gas. As you can tell from the formula for hydrogen peroxide, it contains the same elements as water, hydrogen, H, and oxygen, O, but in a 2 to 2 ratio versus the 2 to 1 ratio of hydrogen to oxygen in water. Water is one of the most abundant compounds on Earth. It is also a major component of the human body. Water is a very, very, very stable compound. So it would make sense that some other ratio of hydrogen and oxygen may form a compound, but I would not expect it to be near as stable as water. As I talked about earlier, hydrogen peroxide naturally decays over time at a very slow rate. To avoid this decay, hydrogen peroxide comes in a brown bottle. When we actually carry out the reaction in this demo, we are going to add a catalyst, potassium iodide to the reaction to speed it up. As you can see from the reaction as I have written, I put Ki over top of the arrow. That is usually where you write a catalyst. Remember that a catalyst is unchanged during the reaction and the whole point of a catalyst is to speed up the reaction. If I did not add the potassium iodide catalyst, we would not be able to see the decomposition reaction occur in a reasonable amount of time. Before we actually get to the demonstration of a decomposition of hydrogen peroxide, let us take a brief look at the role of the potassium iodide catalyst. As you can see in the diagram for the reaction, the 
hydrogen peroxide reactant has more energy than the products which are water and oxygen gas. However, to get to the products, we must go over this barrier depicted by the activation energy. The normal activation energy is drawn in blue. Keep in mind this is just a schematic for illustrative purposes and is not drawn to any particular scale. If we carry out the same reaction with the catalyst added, the activation energy drops as indicated by the red curve. When the activation energy is lower, this means that the reaction rate is faster. So think about, oh, climbing a mountain or going over a hill. The lower the hill is, the faster one can go over the hill and get to the other side. So the same is true with the reaction. The lower the activation energy, the faster the reaction can proceed over the hill. To begin, I'm going to put some hydrogen peroxide into a graduated cylinder. Hydrogen peroxide is stored in a refrigerator to slow the decomposition process. If you feel the bottom of the cylinder, the hydrogen peroxide will feel cool to the touch. Next, I am going to add some dish detergent and some food coloring to the graduated cylinder. The purpose of the dish detergent is so that you can more easily see the bubbles or the oxygen gas being produced in the reaction. The food coloring just gives a nice colored effect. I like to call this reaction elephant toothpaste. Why? Because it will foam up as you will see like a tube of Aquafresh toothpaste. Okay, now I'm going to measure out some potassium iodide which I am going to put into a weigh boat and then I will add the potassium iodide to the graduated cylinder. After the reaction has finished, when I touch the bottom of the cylinder, I notice that it is very hot, almost burning to the touch. 
the decomposition of potassium, not potassium, but hydrogen peroxide is a very exothermic reaction. It is so exothermic that you might see a little bit of steam, which is the liquid water being produced starting to boil. 